Hi everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track Accurate by Quadrant and Iris. So this is the original track and this is the bass that we're going to be making. Now I know it's not exactly the same bass but I think the principles shown in this video will set you up to make basses like this one and I will also share with you how you can turn this preset into your own so you can make something original. But before we get started, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so as you can see, this sound is actually two layers. This is the first one. And this is the second one. If we open the presets, they're actually very, very similar. Let me show you. We can see same filter, same modulations. They look almost identical. Uh, so we're going to just make one and I'll show you how to get the other one out of this one. So let's just create the first one. So then also we're going to be playing our A sharp and then A. Like that. So now let's jump into Serum. And so the first thing that we're going to be doing is just loading sine waves on each oscillator like this. And then we're going to boost the octave on oscillator B. We're going to run FM from B on oscillator 1. Just like that. We're going to bring the level of us a little bit down and route this through a bandpass filter here on the filter. And now we're going to move this because this is just, as you can hear, the vibe maker. So I didn't make an LFO because it was a little bit of a too complicated uh, automation to just create in, in, an, in a serum LFO. So I actually did it in the DAW. So let me show you how that looks like. So here's the shape that I ended up making. I'm pretty sure you don't want to make the same one uh, because you obviously would want to make a different riff and a different track. So this is the shape. And this is how it looks like in the filter. So yeah, that's the filter. Now I'm just going to boot this up and now let's go into the effects. So we're going to use the hyper and distortion. Then we're going to use a chorus, use a multiband compressor, boost the release, add some reverb, very slight one. Let's actually, actually, no, let's turn it off because we do have uh, some reverb here on the pulse processing. Now, one thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be automating the resonance of this filter to be higher and lower at some points of the arrangement. So I actually did that. And here you can see that in the first part or in the first note in this point, we hit the highest point in resonance. And then on the second note, we are actually low. So playing with the filter, it's very, very cool. and. You gotta give it to Quarter and Iris for being so creative with the use of a bandpass filter. They probably used a lot of really cool distortions. Of course, I'm pretty sure that, or, or maybe, I don't know, um, that they didn't limit themselves or they don't limit themselves uh, to only using two distortion from Serum. <laughs> but I don't know, who knows, right? But I'm pretty sure they don't. So use. I encourage you to find and use more modes and flavors of distortion. In this case, I'm just Try to do the most that I can with Serum. So I don't overwhelm you with like this distortion that you cannot get anywhere. So yeah, what we need to do in order to get the other sound, let's take a look, is to have the same patch, but in, instead of a sine wave, we have a saw wave. Like that. There's not a lot of variation here, maybe a little bit of the drive. And that's it. Now you just do the same uh, movements in the filter. Let me show you. So that's the automation. Boom. And then now for resonance, here are the different resonance. So the resonance on this one is higher. And that's it. You just vary it a little bit in terms of the uh, waveforms and then the resonances. 
So let me just delete these references. So that's the sine wave one. And that's the sine wave one. And now you just put them together in a group and that's it. That's how you make bases like the ones in the track Accurate by Quadrant and Iris. I know it's not the most accurate base, but I think from here you can extract a cool creative way of using filters and distortions and different automations to create really cool riffs. So yeah, I encourage you to experiment with this. I hope it gets you inspired and you feel confident that you can probably make a riff for your next track. And that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.